Okay, this is the ogre from madogre.com, weedyarm.com, and Crusader Weaponry. And I'm out here in a prairie dog hunting field situation, and I've got uh, Nightcrawler with me. And uh, this is his beloved FAL, custom made for him by uh, DSA. And uh, on it is a, uh, a little fixed 3x25 combat sight from IOR, Vidala, or however you pronounce that, out of Bucharest. The scope itself is actually fairly nice. Um, let's get a look through the reticle. And if you can see that reticle there, uh, you can see it's got a, uh, a ballistic compensating setup for 308, it's, and it actually works very nice. Uh, the optics the quality, the glass is very clear. I don't know if you can see it though, but one little problem it has is got, uh, look down, if you can see the reticle, and if, because I can't see it through the, through my camera lens here, but if you can see the reticle, look below and to the right of that reticle, you've got these little artifacts that have bounced up from recoil into the field of view. And what those artifacts are, are little flecks of the anti-reflective coating uh, that's inside the scope tube. Basically the black paint has has flaked off and is now stuck on the inside of the objective lens. Other than that, I mean, the glass quality is very, very good. And here's another thing I don't like. If you look at the scope mounted on the gun, it looks like it's banking left. Yet the reticle inside uh, is square. It's square to the gun. It's plumb. Now, it shoots good. It's usable. It adjusts fine. It's got the European style adjustment on there, uh, which is a uh, Soviet Union holdover. I don't know why the communists love that, but it takes uh, basically three hands to adjust the scope properly and get it get it working. But the whole scope being canted to the left, like it's banking left, um, that is annoying. Now this is the second IOR. The first one it got the flex up in the lenses and uh, it ended up going back. Now here's the second one and the second one's getting the flex in the lenses and now this one here is banking to the left the way the first one did not. Uh, the turrets should not be aligned thus and, and I find that annoying and so does Nightcrawler and because of that fact it's going to go back to IOR under warranty and it's going to get replaced and then most likely this optic is going to be for sale um, if it wasn't for that I'd really like it the reticle by the way it is let's see there you can I don't know if you can see it yeah yeah you can it is see off on you know, you've got that illuminated setup for, and you've got multi positions of brightness. And the brightness settings are all good settings. Otherwise, it would be a good solid workable unit, a three power ballistic matched on a 308. Sim automatic. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the reticle's actually in, uh, what, mills? Yeah, it's, in it, it's in mills, but you can use it once you, once you learn how to run it and you know your ballistics, you've got it. Great rifle, would be a great scope if uh, if stuff didn't flake off inside and if they had the reticle straight inside the optic. But uh, 600 bucks, I'm not going to recommend it as a buy unless you get one that has been shot previously and you get no artifacts in the lens. Then uh, then you should have a good solid unit because one thing of, about the Soviet style turrets. Um, they work. They they work really well. They hold their zero. You lock them in, and then you can make your adjustment, and then you can come back to zero. See, so it it's it's a good unit. It just has some flaws. So uh, be conscious of that when you're buying one of these suckers, because you don't want to get bit. DSA makes a great gun. This gun's been running reliably. The Larue mounts, nice, solid. This is the M68 CCO. 
great rifle. This would be a good battle rifle for anybody. Um, anyway, peace out.